By default, ternary plots assume that the input data is normalized, which means that the sum of the absolute values of cells in every row equals 100. This Chemics School ternary plot example will show you how to normalize experimental data, and how to create border lines and phase regions with the help of text, splines, and fill colors. The shown example, clarifies how the Chemics School software converts the first set of ABC data from grams to AB weight percent. To normalize a data set, entering the weight of all three components is needed. After the normalization there is no need to insert the C percentage value because it will automatically be calculated by the software. Use a simple text editor to store all your experimental data. As demonstrated in this example, for each new data set we have to select a new radio button or a new type of symbol. To normalize the data sets, copy and paste all the data sets, one by one, into the ternary plot edit field. To insert data, right click in the edit field and select paste. Alternatively, the data can be pasted using a Windows shortcut combination in which was done in this example. To speed it up a little in this example, only the two first and the two last of a total of six data sets will be shown pasted into the edit field. After the normalization, we now have the ability to add a short phase description to the plot symbols. The reason for doing this, is to have as much information as possible available when we later, for example, will draw a border line between the one phase and two phase regions. To speed it up in this demonstration, we only add phase descriptions to the first two sets of data. We now have all the necessary information we need to draw a border line between the one phase and the two phase region. To do this, set off a few squares with the mouse. Create a curve by moving the squares with the mouse pointer. Use the points located to the left of the 1P or 2P text, as a helping guide regarding where to place the spline curve. It is time to colorize both regions but first we have to change from splain mode to fill mode.
After a color has been selected, we can colorize the two-phase region by left-clicking the mouse. It is possible to move the scared fill point by the mouse. It is important that the black edges of the diagram overlap with the spline or color will bleed into other regions. We now have to select a fill point that is not already in use. Select fill point number 2 in a color. First, click the ternary plot help button to study a few examples of how to manually insert text using the edit field. Insert big sized text in both regions. Use the mouse to check the grid option and uncheck the symbol and text options. To save the experiment as the first in the list, select the upper list box element by single clicking it and insert a name for the experiment. Add the experiment to the list by pressing the before button. To save a high-resolution image of the ternary diagram to the clipboard, click the button with the double triangle. After opening a copy and paste enabled program such as a word processor or a paint program, insert the high-resolution image by using the paste option. It's just another Chemic School tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.